All right. All right. So, so we never want to break there. vision. We always want to be thinking about the absolute worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, you walk down here, you dropped vision, and they could have invaded, right? So we've got True. we've got vision over here. We bot lane's responsibility essentially is to cover the two entrances. So sometimes your teammates don't want to help you with that. So drop your ward, and then get vision down here. Luckily, you know, you're playing with the GSA, so I got you covered over there. But <laughs> yeah. just make sure they don't get through there. And now, right about like 124, you want to start walking over here so you can leash. Mm -hmm. And now let's start thinking about the absolute worst case scenario again. So we've dropped vision. Could they be over there? Should I have ordered the bush? No, you shouldn't. In okay. this particular instance, because we win the all in. If they happen to be dumb enough to cheese us, you've got a Nautilus. So I'm going to walk in, face tank. We're going to be against two marksmen. We're just going to destroy them. But there's a lot of team comps. Like, if I, if I was playing Lulu, and they had a Lucian Leona, and you broke Vision there, right. they could have stacked. So just always so be So obviously thinking... you play Senna, and Senna is one of my worst played against champs, I feel like. Okay. Do you have any tips for reversing a Senna? Um, like, as far as builds or anything like that? Mostly, you just don't want to let her do this. You don't want to get her, let her have a very strong level 1. Good job. So she should absolutely never be allowed to walk up and do that. Uh, obviously, that's okay. going to fall a lot to the ADC or to the support to kind of engage those things. But especially if you have a tank support, like you can you can always you know use Pinglish, aka pinging ping, pinging as like a language. To <laughs> yeah. you know, she walks up and auto attacks you, red ping her. Say, hey, she's not allowed to do that. Get on him, Nautilus. All right, so it is two thirty. Do you know typically when the very first gank is? No. The average time for the first gank. Uh, for junglers, just mathematically looking at like how fast junglers clear and where they pop and stuff, is typically around 315. This one came out a so little bit earlier, kill. but you're typically not going to see a gank in the top lane or the bot lane until 315. So you want to be thinking. Does that vary by what champion the jungle is playing? I know like some yeah, people are like bit. new new like to harass. Right, a little bit. But um, you want to be thinking at like 240, like, okay, what are you doing with your wave? Because you don't want to be gankable at 315. There's a lot of junglers that like this right here, super, super gankable. Yeah. So we want to be maybe looking to ward around this time. So I can ward the bush here? Uh, you don't have to because Volley Bear actually pathed up top, so we see him on the map. But yeah. if we had no vision, if we had no idea where Volley Bear went, then yeah. Like around 240 would be a really great time to, uh, to ward. Alright, so you as the ADC, you always want to be thinking about what you're doing with your waves. So, what, what, what's the very first item you're buying? The first item component? Uh, I think I'm going to go Gale Force on Caitlyn. Okay, and what's the item component that you're trying to get before we back? Noon Quiver. Noon Quiver. So we need 1,300 gold, and you should be at like 900,000 right now? I'm at 1,000, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, I mean, I'm kind of a math of... genius, aren't I? Um, yeah, almost, right? <laughs> It's almost like you played this game before. <laughs> so we want to start thinking about, like, are we getting one more wave? Are we getting two more waves uh, before we go back? Because you don't want to overstay. I'd like to, get one in, I'd like to get one in the Ezreal, but... So you want to get the wave and kill the Ezreal. It's not typically possible. I mean, this guy's kind of positioning like an idiot. I'm not going to take advantage yeah, of Yeah, he's not staying behind his minions at all. Yeah, I'm not going to take advantage of it, but that's super, super killable. And my Qs are kind of brutal. So let's just take the wave. and go Okay. And, uh, I'm at 1.2k. But if you notice, if we if we leave the wave right here, all right, you didn't need you didn't need yeah. to uh, heal either. So oh, I had a potion. Yeah. And I don't even think you need to. We're we're not looking to like actually fight to the death in this lane. Right, like you said, we're just trying to push the wave and go back. Right. Okay. Look where mm -hmm. Sin is positioning now. You want to start getting a little nervous when they start. With, they've been playing super passive this entire game, right? Now all of a sudden, mm -hmm. Sin wants to walk up and take pot shots at us. Is that because they're junglers here? It's possible. Mm, yeah, maybe because drags up. It's possible, um, but that's called something reading body language. I have thirteen hundred, by the way, if you want to back. Okay, so we want to shove this once again. That yep. center should be dead, but I'm not going to take advantage of it. So I want you to have like a relatively typical experience with like what playing with a support in your own elo would be. All right, so we see volley bear, and we have something called prio. So we go, we go, we go. Look, they can't rotate mm -hmm. because they're stuck under their minions. I'm gonna kill her for that. Alright, so can you tell me what prio is? Uh, it's when you take priority over one task over another. Right, and we have so, something So, like, since Volley was rotating, we should have gone for that. Uh, yeah, it's essentially having prio 
over your bot lane. Oh, I should have ignited. I'm an idiot. Uh, having Pryo versus their bot lane means that you can rotate the fights in the in the river fast, uh, faster than their bot lane. And we can do that because they had like 10 minions, so if they rotate through here, they're fighting us and they're fighting 10 minions. Okay. So Pryo is a very, very, very important concept in uh, bot lane because there's always fight rivers, like like fights between jungle junglers going over in the river because of, there's an objective there, right? There's dragon and there's crab. Uh, we see Amumu deep in their jungle. Who has right. Pryo between us and their, their bot lane right now to rotate? Their bot lane. Correct, because they can rotate they're way closer. faster. Way, way faster. Yeah. But if mm. the fight's here and they're stuck under their turret farming the entire wave, we have Pryo. Right. So you always want to be looking for stuff like that. Playing bot lane is a very, very important concept. Alright, so what do you want to be doing with your wave right now? Uh, right now, I think I want to probably try to freeze wave as much as I can. Okay. And that's going to kind of come down to playstyle stuff. I really don't like freezing waves. I like pushing them in and being able to rotate the stuff like that. Because if we freeze... Especially since we're a little bit ahead right now. Right, if, if, well, if we freeze it, though, we're going to lose that prio. We may not be able to rotate to whatever fight our idiot jungler picks. But if, if you're down to freeze it, uh, you should you should only be last hitting them. Last hitting, yeah. I'm going to... I think I probably changed my mind here. I'm gonna go for uh... Okay, so we're gonna go for a shove now? Yeah. Alright, Ezreal Ooh. just used his E. Alright, so their Volley Bear is on Dragon. We probably don't want to be shoving into a Volley Bear that we know for a fact is bot. Especially because look where our jungler is. If a fight breaks out yeah, bot, he's not here to help there's us. absolutely no way to, fight, to help him. But, now we see Volley Bear mid. So let's go ahead and shove it like you wanted to. I think that's the other thing I know I'm bad at that I need to work on is map awareness. Um... I'm good at looking close, but I always have trouble if I'm bot lane looking top to see if I can help anything. Yeah. In mid or anything like that. And it can be, but that's just, yeah, it can be that's just experience, difficult. I feel like. Go ahead. Um, is it better to use the lock on camera? No. You want, you want, you abs, is that what you use right now? I have Y lock on you, or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I keep my camera unlocked, and then I have a button that I use. I tipped, I use the button Y. Uh, yeah. And it just snaps it. It, it just re-centers the camera onto me, but I do Right, that's the same with me. Okay, so so when you press Y, it doesn't stay snapped on you, right? Uh, oh yeah, it does. I just have to press Y again to Okay, unsnap. well then, okay, you're, so you're not playing with locked camera then, that's fine. I can undo it. I mean, I am, but like, I'm not. That makes sense? Okay, yeah. Like, I, like, well, I think I just have the default setting on. if you're playing with it on. locked, I would highly recommend, not necessarily in this game, but maybe, you know, Today and tomorrow, play your next 10 games with it completely unlocked. Okay. I'm looking at it now where like, I can move around and stuff. It's kind of weird. Yeah. It, it'll be hard, but it'll greatly increase, especially in like really messy team fights where you need to be like looking around with your head on a swivel and seeing who's using what, you know, who's using what spells. I would definitely, uh, you know, there are really good players that play with locked camera, but they're the exception. Mm hmm. They've been playing a lot longer. Yeah, and it's just like a... It's, it doesn't help to play with locked camera. Yeah. For sure. I can see why. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. League of Legends is just a game of information, right? Every every action that we do is dictated by the information that we have. Like, if I see Ezreal blow his flash and his E, that's information that I have that I can now go in on Ezreal. We see their jungler topside, uh, we, you know, we can fight bot, stuff like that. Alright, so... Amumu's here, so... We see Amumu here, but they're not super diveable. They're bo they're all... Yeah. They have all their summoners up. So we're kind of just chilling. I'm moving up over here, because I see that Amumu's doing some risky stuff in the bot... Or in the in the jungle, and I want to be able to rotate to him. But we see Volibear mid. I'm actually going for roam. You don't want to be coming on roams like this. Because you're going to be missing... Uh, I don't have much mana. Yeah, I'll just go stay CS. Yeah. I'm gonna yep. walk through bush though. I'm not gonna go down the yep, river because yep. that's a bad Just, idea. That's good. You're thinking about the worst case scenario. You walk through river and they 2v1 you and you die. So as ADC, you absolutely have to respect when your support roams. I know it's not fun. I know people don't like that, but that is what your support's going to do. Especially in today's current meta, you're going to roam as support. If you're not yeah. roaming, you're playing it wrong. So just be playing very, very safe. You're running out of minions here. So I know you played Senna and uh, and not now. Who's your favorite support? 
Uh, or who did you used to main back when you were in Le Grands? Leona. Um, I, I still do main Leona. I play, I kind of specialize in like hard engaged tanks. So I play Nautilus, Leona, I play Rakan. Blitz. Blitzcrank, yeah, I play Blitzcrank. I kind of hate Blitzcrank too. Yeah, because they're very like unreliable sort of thing. Oh, I hate bursting them. Actually, oh, you hate more. bursting them, okay. Yeah, I just, I've had some bad luck with them and they just always hit their shots, but it's because I've, I've been positioning myself ahead of minions. Yeah. I, I feel like with certain champs, like I played Samira for a little while. I really like her, but I think I need to get better at my game sense before I can play her and like my ability combos. Yeah. Because unless you can hit all your stuff with her, it's I know it's very, very hard to be effective. Alright, so we have officially taken one back and we're 12 minutes into the game. You probably want to be looking to take more backs here, is the first thing that I'm seeing. So let's go. Is there like a gold value that you should start considering every time, uh, or just depend on what item you're buying? Not necessarily. It, it, it's kind of just it, it, it differs from champion to champion. But like you're you're saving up for gale force, and if you can push them under turret like this, you have you, you, might as well you back. have a really good back timer. Because what that means is that they have to stay in lane, getting those getting those minions, and probably pushing all the way to your turret. Meanwhile, oh. you get to go okay. back, spin your gold, and if a, if a fight breaks out, you have now bought and they haven't. Also, I'm gonna wait because I have five seconds left on oh, Gale yeah, Force. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't realize how close I was. I didn't look. Yep. Forgot I already had Noon Quiver. Also, we have Dragon spawning in 40 seconds when we were talking about backs. That's a really, really good timer. You want to be backed with at least 40 seconds before Dragon because you want to assume that your team is going to fight the Dragon, and you want to have bought before you fight the Dragon. Hmm. Now this is kind of a weird thing because. Our Yasuo is soloing the dragon, but it is, it's going to work because why? Yasuo has a lot of lifesteal? Not necessarily. There's another really big reason why that dragon worked. I don't know. Okay, so look at the kill feed. Yeah. Who just killed our Cho'Gath? Oh wait, actually, hold up. How do I look at the kill feed? I just know the they, one they that's pop alive up on one. The right. I think it's already gone. But... Oh yeah, okay. So we knew so, for a fact that their jungler, Volley Bear, is top lane. Oh yeah, Volley was top, yeah. There's no way to look at like previous kill feeds, right? Mm, like I don't I don't think so. That's not a thing. Oh wrong one. Wrong one. I hit the okay, wrong one. Misclick. Yeah. It happens. I okay, we'll finish her here. Oh I missed. Oh volley's here. Okay, so we typically want to be using our heal earlier rather than later because it gives you movement speed. Nice. So when I'm trying to run away from Volley Bear, uh, especially if you are against a... Yeah, you're kiting him and I'm like running from him because at the time he was focusing me. Um, it's really good to just drop your heal early because it gives me movement speed, it helps me run away. And if you are against a different support that has Ignite, do you know why it's good to drop heal early? It counters it, right? Yeah. Uh, it like it like cancels out the buffs of the of the ignite, right? Yeah, like the slow and stuff. Kind of. Well, no, there's not a slow on ignite, but there's something called grievous wounds. So grievous wounds oh, decreases yeah, yeah. your healing. So if they ignite me when they're trying to kill me, and you wait until the last second to heal, your heal is going to be diminished. It's only going to give me like fifty percent of your full heal value. So healing right. early as ADC is very, very highly valuable. It, in the same for the same reason that igniting early as a support is good. Because if I ignite you early, then your heal is going to be diminished. It's not going to be as effective. Interesting. I also just realized I heard that 10 CS a minute is usually what you're supposed to be doing, right? Yeah, you sh it's something you should be sh shooting for. It's not always pop possible. All right, so I think I'm we, doing should be, decent, we should be walking right? up. We should be walking up because we see a Mumu here. And we've got a prio for that. Well, it's not necessarily. We're not prio because yeah, it's they're a not river. Two, right? Yeah, it's easy to free kill technically. Mm -hmm. or should have been. All right, we're rotating to this. We're rotating to this. Fight's breaking out in the river. You want to be there first. Okay, it's massive. It's really, really good fight. Nice. There's Yasuo. <laughs> There's Yasuo. All right. Also, if you have any questions about things that I'm saying or just any topic in general, like now would be a really good time to ask him. Since we got okay, uh, I had. What was I gonna ask? I'm trying to think about how I wanted to word it. 
Oh yeah, okay, so I'm really bad when it comes to, um, like I haven't learned what everything does yet as far as, like the little things. I know the general things like smite and like, like what the abilities do overall, but like the little things that actually make a huge difference, like you were just mentioning, the um, ignite cancellation with heal. Mm -hmm. Are there any other of those that I should be aware of early on that really like matter for me um, as, a, as a bot laner? It's not necessarily like how spells interact with each other and what counters what, but using your summoner spells in general. Like there, there's so many like fundamentals that iron players are just like struggling with. So I don't want to get like into the super nitty gritty of like, you know, this counters this. So, you know, like that, that that's kind of like nitpicking at that point. Whereas, like, you've got a lot of really, really fundamentals issues going on if you're playing in the silo for a prolonged time. Yeah. So I kind of want to just, like, focus on that stuff. Like, for instance, do you know where their bot laner is right now? No, because there's no wards. Down there, but, but and got... he's probably roaming. Okay, so you don't know where they're Sims top, at. They're top, they're top, okay, they're top, they're top, yeah, is. yeah. So, uh, you, yeah, sorry. you just gotta keep... No, it's fine, you don't gotta apologize. I'm, I'm just doing... I'm, and I'm just I, just I right here. Okay, good. So, so just constantly, you want to be looking at your mini map, even if it's just for like a split second, and you gotta kind of like train your brain to take a split second look at the mini map and absorb a lot of information. And I know that's hard, but like every like I would say six to seven seconds, you should be looking at your mini map, even if it's just for you know split second. And you're going to be absorbing a lot more than you think you will. E even if you just like take a look at top lane, you could have seen Sinna's icon, and then you can act knowing that. Senna is top, and that changes everything, right? Because if we catch Ezreal out, when we know for a fact Senna's top, that's a 2v1. Alright, also, uh, we should have backed about 40 seconds ago, because we've got a major objective drag. spawning. Yes, correct. Yeah, the ocean drag. Alright, so you are absolutely massive. You've got a huge CS lead, you've got to level up, you've got your mythic. This is a massive, massive power spike. As you see, Ezreal does not have his mythic. So any prolonged fight we take that you're just not, like, getting absolutely blown up in, we're going to win. That's kind of like the rule of ADC, is you're the prolonged damage. There's a lot of champions in this game that do a lot of burst damage up front, but ADCs, typically, if your ADC is still alive, you're going to win the long fights. Now, in this situation where they we see their whole team top and Amumu is soloing drag, do I help Amumu or do I come top? Uh, he can absolutely solo dragon, and every other player on the map is top. So I would be coming to this fight. I'm on the way, but might be a little late. It's fine. Looks like Yasuo is kind of carrying it anyway. So ah, no, keep right, lie down there. All right, he won. He won it for us regardless. Ah, no, keep it, keep it. Oh, right. they forfeited. That That's a rip. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, man. Do you want to run it back? I mean, I feel like we've um, only scratched the surface. If you're okay with that, I don't want to take you away from your nah, community nah, to nah, understand nah. how it, that... It's all good, bro. It's all good. Let's run it okay. back. Alright, so let's do what I talked about. We want to push for level 2. It's a very important concept in bot lane. Hitting level 2 first. So we want to pressure. Basically, yeah, we yeah free hits in, right? Because we have two ranged characters. He can't walk up like this. Right there, right there. Nice, nice. See, see what a huge advantage we have? Yeah, I, I was close enough, but he's still going to hit me. Yeah. All right, now That's we want to push crazy. for level two. We get level two after these next two minions. So you want to be walking up so that we can use our level two advantage. So hit that minion. And now look at this. Look at this. They're doomed. They're doomed. They're doomed. They're, he's level one. This guy's still level one. Run at him. Nice. Huge. I have a queue up in one second. Oh, okay. That works. Good stuff. So that's, that's, that's the advantage of pushing for level two. Okay, does that only work with melee, or...? No, I mean, there's millions of different, like, combinations of champions, right? So it's different a little bit for each one. But you hit level 2 at the same minion uh, count every single time. Right, and we shouldn't even go for tower hits until we have 5 minutes, right? right? honestly, now, used... now would have been, like, a pretty decent time to take a recall. Because he's stuck under his turret. We don't necessarily right, and I have just to, buy, but... Do I buy a longsword here? Or do I buy boots, or not... Uh, longsword, longsword. Or... Okay. Get that extra damage in. Yeah. 
But we want to get back out there as soon as we can because he's pushing it, right? He sees that we backed, so now he's just like frantically pushing it to try to get it to touch our tower as fast as he can. And he's level 3 now. Yeah. So my, yes, someone in my chat good. says that, uh, I think you're confusing Ignite and Exhaust. I've never used Exhaust in my life. Okay, Exhaust. But I know, yeah. I know, that's what I'm, I'm definitely doing that. Yeah. Exhaust is the one that slows you and reduces your damage output. Okay. Alright, so, now, they didn't get the back. They didn't get the back, so if they choose to fight us here, we're just going to stay under our turret fighting, or uh, farming minions. But if they choose to fight us, you have a massive advantage, right? Because you've, you've bought... Right, I have a long sword. Yeah, so now Warwick's Excuse here. Me. He's still in lane. I think I think Twitch probably backed, but we're gonna zone him. This is called zoning. So Warwick needs to be in a certain range to get experience for these minions when they die, right? But since it's yep. just him, we can zone him. We can stand forward like this, and look, he's. And I can just keep attacking yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah. You you keep getting uh, you keep getting the farm. But look, oh, Warwick did not get the experience for that minion, so now he's even further behind in, in uh, experience. It's really, really easy, especially once you get a lead with two ranged characters, to just zone. Alright, so oh, do you have any you idea know. where on the map Rengar is? Uh, I think I saw him mid. Yeah, he's by the Nunu right okay, now. Okay, yes. Remember to keep your head on a swivel kind of thing. We want, Because we actually knew that even without him showing. Alright, so they're behind our minion wave. We don't want to be Eing back like that. You are in no danger. You want to hold on to your E. Oh, I was trying to go for the crit hit. Is that not a good idea? Yeah, no, you want to, you want to hang on to that. Because we actually... Yeah, okay. We actually had a lot of uh, pressure to walk up and put more damage on them. Because if... Rule of thumb, if they're ever behind your minion wave... Like, our minion wave was here, right? Warwick was back yeah. here. You shouldn't be afraid to take that fight. Because the second... Oh, no, I wasn't afraid. I was trying to get the extra hit. But I, should, yeah. I guess I should have gone backwards then. Like towards them. Well, you don't even need to use it really. Uh, just just walk forward and just auto attack him. Oh, I thought I was out of tower range. But I queued only are I don't know. Okay, he just ignited me. <laughs> so they're down ignite now. Should I have to heal you? No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. If he goes for this, I need to heal. Okay, yeah. So now now we all in them. So he got his damage off. He used everything and he didn't kill us. So we're we're just we're running him down here. We're running him down. Alright, nice. I should have probably gotten that, but I didn't auto him. All good. Uh, yeah. So, basically, he's a melee champion, which means once he goes in and doesn't kill us, he's going to start running away. Interesting, okay. And then that's your kind of, like, opportunity to kite Just him forward. bully the crap out right, of him. exactly. Because he can't fight you in, his, in your minion wave. So I'm really curious, how often do you do this with new players? With brand new players? Almost never. Ba never. So what <laughs> What enticed you to give me this opportunity? I don't know, man. Uh, just kind of just kind of came to mind? I saw, I saw the fire in your eyes, bro. I saw, I saw the passion <laughs> saw the... in your loins. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, notice how they're just like hardcore focusing me. And you have a full yeah. health bar. You want to think about your health... Oh, whoops. Yeah, that was my fault, honestly. Uh, That's alright. You want to think about your health bar kind of like as a resource. Uh -oh. Until it, until uh, your resource bar reaches zero, you're still useful. Right, but I have no mana now. Mm -hmm. uh, Which is another resource more. bar. Yeah, I'm just going to back. Is that smart, or do I clear wave here first? You want to stay under turret and get wave. Now, there okay. is a threat that Rengar comes and dives you. But as long as you stand along this side of the wall, you can't get Rengard. Right. That's a good yeah. I'm watching for that Twitch poison, too. You've got your Lulu coming. Your support's coming as fast as they can. Yeah. See, if mm -hmm. you had backed here, you would have missed all this experience and all this gold, which is what your champion scales with. So, your champion scales with gold. Right. If I can stay ahead in gold, that means I stay ahead in items, which means I stay ahead in damage. All right. No, no, I really appreciate you doing this for me. You didn't have to, especially after, like, <laughs> I came in, so you didn't have to do that. Yeah, no no problem, man. Honestly, you, you're acting like you came in and, like, flamed me hard. I get it way, way worse, homie. Yeah, I've gotten I, I way understand. Worse. I didn't. I don't even think I actually really flamed you. Yeah. Like like you said, I didn't. it wasn't like I was being toxic. I was just, like, pointing out that you were a smurf. Yeah. 
which I, 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 first when you said you weren't, I was like, okay, maybe he's actually not a Smurf, but then I came into your chat. Oh, okay, I don't even yeah, remember saying that. I probably just said that for, like, jokes. No, you said I'm not a Smurf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> really? Might have been a fib. I'm a, we should back now, right? <laughs> Correct, because we got the wave yeah. to touch the turret. The... Yeah. Okay, and then, yeah. I'm just gonna buy a noon quiver and probably boots here. Sounds Actually, good, man. Yeah, buy Get whatever boots. you can. Buy full boots. Yeah. Yo, Alt but... Derp with the Prime. Thank you very much for supporting the GSA, homie. Yeah, honestly, I don't know if your community enjoys this, but you should do more, this for more people who flame you. Just be like, yo, you want to play? I mean, I typically like, do, but mostly it's just like to call them out on like their hypocrisy, you know what I mean? I, I don't know if you've right. gotten this impression from me. I'm a pretty big shit talker. Uh, I like to do it. It's fun. It's banter. Yeah. You know, it's entertaining. I wouldn't even call it shit talking. I think you just like having fun with people. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, it, it amuses you to like piss people off sometimes. Yeah. But it's not even like you're intentionally like, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, I, I understand that. But yeah, typically when people are like, oh my god, you're smurfing, bro. You're the scum of the earth. And then I was like, yeah, okay, fine, man. You want a duo game? And they're like, oh, yeah, sure, bro. Like, you no, fucking hypocrites. I mean, <laughs> the only reason I'd like be okay doing with you is because I'm kind of i kind of enjoying your personality. Like, I, oh, thanks. I didn't know hey, who you were. Buddy, like, this is the first time I'm, I'm coming taken, in here. I'm so. all right? Don't be hitting on me on stream, all right? No, not like, okay, not like that. <laughs> No, you're just fun to play with. I play with a lot of people who coach you, like, take it, you're taking it serious, but, like, not, like, it's not, like, uh, it's an enjoyable serious, I guess is the way to put it. <laughs> alright, alright. It's because the way you, like, your tone of voice, that's probably why. Okay, watch out, yeah. Like, so, Twitch, that's kind of like Twitch's big play right there, right? Is he Where's my he turns invisible? I can't. And it was really obvious that he was doing it because Warwick all of a sudden was going for us. So we have to assume that yeah. Warwick's not like just suiciding in 2v1, right? We have to assume that Twitch is also there with him. Let go. Good stuff. So that's another kind of big uh, concept of League of Legends is reading body language. Uh, like we, we talked about a little bit last game where like Senna all of a sudden after playing passive for the first seven minutes of laning phase, was walking beyond her minions and trying to hit hit us. So, like, obviously in that scenario, her jungler's there. You can you can kind of gain a lot of information just by watching people's behavior. Like, like I said, Warwick all of a sudden is diving us, right? Okay, that's because Twitch is going going with him. He's invisible. Nice. Uh, jungle's here. Remember to heal early. Alright, try to just kill Warwick since he's taking turret aggro. Nice. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know if I was gonna get him or not. Good job. We take those. Oh, what are you doing, oh dude? Oh my Hello? god. He's in. Oh my god, he's lost his mind. <laughs> I Good stuff. don't know what that one was. Good stuff, man. You outplayed him. I'm gonna back too. Honestly, dude, right that right there, that's a learning opportunity because so much of League of Legends, especially in lower levels of play, is just letting the enemy outplay themselves. Like just taking advantage of the fact that they're they're making the mistake. You don't have to go for these big flashy plays. Like that Rengar had like the montage music going on in his mind, right? He's like, This is my moment, bro. I'm going for the <laughs> huge outplay. Whereas if he just hadn't done it, like it would have been so much better. Just let people I've done make that stupid before. plays, right? And you gotta minimize like, doing it's like, that. Everyone does it, man. It, it it it's so it's so hard not to. But if you can get some like impulse control and just not go for the hyper insane one v nine play, right. just a constant level of consistent play is so much better than get going for the one v nine play that has like a one in ten chance of working. Hmm. So, dragons up in twenty. So what you want to be doing is shoving this wave so that we have prio. Finish pressure for them to yep. have to. So if they're because we already have their tower kind of low. Right. Well, we don't we don't want to be pressuring their turret. We just want to get that under their turret so that now Twitch has to go to their bot lane. Twitch really can't come to this dragon fight, or else he misses three waves of CS. Should I get right? scuttle first? Yeah, yeah. Since we can't do drag yet, jungle's not here. Yep. So he's doing his blue buff, I think. All right, so now we want to turn on Twitch, and you've got an enchanter, so you do way more damage than him. That's really unlucky. Oh wait, we got it. Nice. 
Yeah, All right, so we, we've got a huge, huge advantage here. You're full health. They're a melee champion. Just run them down. You've got an enchanter. All right, so we see Twitch back in the river. Now we want to we want to turn on this guy. What is our what is their gang thing just do? Yeah, our jungler went top instead of going to dragon, but that's fine because once we kill this Twitch, once we kill this Twitch, we can do the dragon. Actually, they're yeah, fighting mid. Actually, go yeah, for a yeah, call. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Good eye. Good eye. Nice. Oh, yeah. Good. Got good anyways. rotation though. That was that was really good. Didn't Just in case, because he could have died there if she ulted properly. Exactly. Now we know Rengar's dead. Their bot lane's dead. Akali's dead. So we just get free dragon. Warwick's mid. We can probably go gank that, right? We do, that's not really our role. That's not our job. Remember, we scale purely with uh, gold. So gold. we don't. It's not worth to go there and like maybe try to kill Warwick and then miss all this gold. Like this is this is a lot of gold for you. And experience. Yep. If I keep saying levels ahead, I naturally just win. Yeah. Like maybe the okay. support goes there, but your job, primarily, your first priority should al always be the CS. All right. We see Rengar here, but we're not afraid because we're super super far ahead. Twitch has gone invisible. Maybe he's going for a play here, but we're in an entire minion wave, so. We're, we, we should be pretty confident here. We take tower and then leave? Yep. Alright, so that's what my ult does, by the way. It's it, it's uh, still man. fine. We're still going to win this. We're still going to win this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we got Nunu coming. We, 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 uh, we I had a queue up in point .1 seconds. I might have been able to get a double there. Oh, Nunu pulled off. It's okay, though. Oh, wow, Nunu... Alright, at least we got one. Yeah, it's not bad. And Remember to use your, uh, your, your Gale Force power. active too, by the way. I think it's still up, isn't it? Uh, I used it when I flashed. Actually, wait, no. Oh, oh I didn't. No, I did have it. Yeah, I thought okay. I did. Okay. So I thought I did to get away from the uh, Warwick, yeah, but I didn't. That's good. As long as you recognize that that can be used as an escape. Oh, that Akali Miz is going to kill. Oh, that was... Oh, I thought she was going to take another tower hit. That would unfortunate. All right, so nice play by what Akali. do you think after? Because we're about to take this turret. What do you think is right. our next play? What do you do? Because I th I know that a lot of players kind of like game knowledge falls apart. They know what they're supposed to do in landing phase. They're supposed to take the turret, but then it kind of right. falls apart. Like, what do you think we should be doing after that? So my iron self wants to say I keep pushing it, but then okay. What is your what is your inner gold self say? Let's listen to that guy. Uh, I need to keep CSing because I, I feel like that's a lot of what a lot of people lack in my elo is they stop CSing after they take first tower because they're they just try to roam and get kills the whole time. Okay, but macro wise, uh, on the map we don't want to just like win bot lane and then sit bot lane the entire game. We want to affect the entire map because it's a team game, right? Right. So we want we want to kill these guys. We already took their turret. We want to go bot after the, or uh, we want to go top. Good job. All right, because there's no more turret to take, and we bot laners are kind of like the designated turret takers, right? If we go mm -hmm. top lane, we're going to be able to pressure this Gnosis out. He'll be under his turret. He won't be able to farm, and we'll take the top lane turret. So we go top. Typically, what you do in bot lane, after you win the lane, after you take the turret, you want to go top. You want to bring both your bot laners top, and send your bot laner bot. The only time we want to go back to bot lane. you can push mid a little more freely. Well, it's, it's mostly just about like taking this top lane turret, which it looks like these guys are going to take it anyways. But let's say that they weren't also steamrolling top lane and taking this turret. That's where we would want to go macro wise after you take the, the bot lane turret. The only time we want to go back to bot lane is for this. So we essentially have like a minute to push top lane, which they've already pushed it. So we're, we're going to go do something else. But yeah, that, the, the important part of this concept that I'm trying to teach is that you never, you don't want to stay bot lane. Because by staying bot lane, you would have to push this wave, and then you're way too deep. You're super, super gank. Right. If you push all the way to the tier 2, tier 2 turret. Alright, so look. We're getting a mid tower here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because they, they can't it's challenge already here, and we got a wave. We also see Rengar top. Hopefully. So we know, worst case scenario, they're doing this play again, which will be fine. 
We'll be fine. We got it. We got a huge, huge lead. All right. You typically don't want oh. to. Uh, you you want to. got that close. Yeah. You don't. You want to think about like abilities that kind of like pause you in place like that. Even though you're about to like bust out a big amount of damage, you're essentially CCing yourself for the enemy team, right? You basically yeah, stunned with a yourself. range like that, I should have been way further back. Yeah. And in a closer game, you actually would have put us in a really bad position because now we don't have our fed ADC for this next dragon fight. And I also, even if I'm not uh, close game, I just gave them a bunch of gold because I was 9 and 1. Yep. So I think I gave them like 300 gold. Right, and and it's like a ripple effect. Like, you know, because we don't have our fed ADC, now we just took a disadvantage, disadvantageous uh, fight in the river. They just got and a whole we bunch lose of kills on us. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna Do I go in for final kills here or no? Um... It, it's like it's risky. Here? I right. think you'll be fine because everyone's low. Honestly, just just catch the CS. I don't think they're gonna do the dragon, and even if they are, you can't you can't stop them. So getting even that close to a Akali, look at this number. Yeah, it was bad. You're at, yeah, a better Akali player will just slaughter you there. Yep. So you always want to be playing very very defensively as an ADC. So you gotta assume someone's with him, right? There you go. Nice. Okay, Nos is flashed. I'm not gonna escape though. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Good oh. trap. Good trap, bro. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna back. Yep. Maybe here's not the best place. Because Rengar, it's fine. Rengar jump walls or no? Yeah, but Rengar just died, so there's no way he's gotten from here to here in such a short amount of time. Yeah, they're all pushing mid. So we see four people pushing mid. The objective on the map is currently the dragon. The dragon. Everything we do should be in service of getting that dragon. So. If we take a fight mid, it's not like we act like we really care about getting the kills or even the mid turret. It's just all we're trying to secure the dragon. So think about that. Just always be thinking about every single fight that you take should be for an objective. Even if it's not like directly in front of, a, of an objective, like past 20 minutes in the game, the big objective is Baron, right? So every fight right. you should be taking is like, can we turn that into a Baron? You should Which this is potentially both. If we can get a five kill here, we can do both. Right. But just kind of like, what is this guy doing? Kind of try to train your mind into like every fight that you take should be in service of something greater. Like we killed Twitch, so what do we get? We should be getting this dragon. Uh, like we, yeah. we collapse on these guys, they don't have a Twitch. Just remember Nasus behind. Yep, yep. We just gun these guys down because you've got an enchanter and you're super fed. Oh, uh, we should. Should we help? Okay, I would say we got a Nasus yeah, up we're, there. We're, we're kind of pinched. Oh, uh, that's my bad. Close. It's alright. I think that was worse still. So, let's say, worst case scenario, we just got aced. A lot of people look at that and they're like, oh my god, we lose. And they want they want to they wanna forfeit. But, do they actually get anything off of acing us here? We lose nothing. No, because we got drag and they can't get Baron. Right, because... we're, at, we're at a great spot. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest objectives in the game is getting the fourth dragon. It's called Soul Point. And you get like massive, massive, massive stats off of it. So four minutes, since it will be our fourth dragon, do you know how to check that? Yeah, it's up top. Okay, yeah, yeah. But do you know how to check like how many dragons we have? Yeah, it says the above our team. We it. have three. We have the infernal, the mountain, correct, and the cloud. Correct. Okay. So playing for soul point. Everything we do from this point forward should be playing either for Baron, objective. That's the objective, or soul point. Honestly, soul point is like really, really, really good. If you get, if you no. luckily like win the early game and you get three dragons, oh, just just play for soul point. Okay. So uh, I noticed that you hit the uh, plant during that fight. Is that because you were attack moving? I uh, hit the what? You hit the uh, the little vision plant during that fight, and it actually did like affect the fight. Did you notice that you did that? No, I didn't even notice. Okay, yeah. So, do you... And that's weird, because I don't have auto on. I just have... I have to click for everything. So... Ah, oh, okay. keep it, keep it. That's weird. I, don't, I didn't even notice I did that. Yeah. From your channel. And if you notice it, it, it actually did affect content. it, because Akali lived with, like, 5 HP. So if that, yeah, that yeah, yeah. one shot had gone into Akali, could have been a totally different uh, fight. But uh, do, you, do you have the hotkey target champions only on? 
Mm, no, I maybe I do. I just uh, never heard of that before. I, I think you have to manually bite it, so you probably don't have it on. Uh, is, we can, we can look Hello? at it after the um, after the game. That guy's kind of stupid for that. Yeah, but that's a really really good hotkey to bind because especially if you're playing ADC, it's a very like you need a lot of precision to make sure you're clicking the right person. Like when they're in the middle of like a, a wave or anything like that. Oh my gosh. Warwick miss. But yeah, like, let's say they're like he's right here. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, you don't want to be like accidentally clicking a minion. So we'll get. M make sure you buy in target champion only after this game. Alright, we win this. We win this. Hard. Be confident. Be confident. Just keep doing your job. Your role, your role is to keep keep shooting. Even if you die here, it's still good. We took out three of them. Yep, because we just caused Warwick to dive and waste his life. And now, now what? Now what do we do? We won the fight, and every fight should be in service of the objective, right? Baron. So you want to be like hard spamming, spam ping Baron, because these guys just want to like they just want to keep fighting, right? So you want to be the one that's communicating with your team, Baron. It's Baron. It's Baron. Because you know it's Baron. And look at that. They're listening. So uh, what a concept. What a concept. <laughs> Every single fight we take should be in service of the next objective. So we win the fight, we should get the objective. Twitch is here. Is good? All right, Rengar is bot. And what's our next? Yep. What's our next next objective? Uh, 53 for Cloud Drake for Soul. Exactly. So everything we do in the next 53 seconds should be in order. Should be for that. Should be in order to secure the Soul. So I should not. Push here because I have one no minions for my Baron buff and two Twitches here and if I die we might lose soul. Right, but once we've got minions, we're, we've got two teammates and a Baron wave. So we want to be pushing out mid so that they don't have yep. prio. It's very hard for a team to fight a dragon if they don't have prio through mid. Okay, and yeah, be, just be confident here. Just be confident. We're running them down. They're all doomed. They're all doomed. Nice. So after we get all... Oh, I think you've got a really bad habit of doing that. You, you put yourself in a bad spot. I didn't even mean to do that. That's crazy. Okay, okay. So, we don't want to just run it down mid. We don't care about mid. Tier 2 turret really doesn't matter. We're going matter. dragon now. We're going dragon, yeah. we're going dragon. Don't walk through there. Don't walk through there. Typically, okay, you okay. always want to walk the safest route, which your enchanter's over back here, river. and we've got minions over here. So it'd be really hard for them to fight us, like, right here. But if you had, if you walked in there, that's a really easy spot for Rengar to fight you. And you, you get snapped. You get Thanos snapped. In like half a second so be always be thinking about this is like one of the first things I said be thinking about the absolute worst case scenario what happens if Rengar was in that bush I you would have died get killed like crazy yeah, yeah and then then we <laughs> maybe don't get the dragon so now Gnosis is dead we want to empower our minions through mid looks like they're calling it GG Nice. Caitlyn's, one of her best attributes is sieging, which means if you get Caitlyn under a turret like this, what you typically want to do, like if they're defending it, you want to set up a trap line. You want to use your Ws and just make it so that like they can't run out of their base. Like this is a really, really good place for Caitlyn to be. Is sieging. It's one of the best parts of that champion. All right, looks like they're just letting us run it. Gnosis is calling for the GG report, report bot. bot. <laughs> That's... Hey, at least I didn't do that, right? True, <laughs> true. <laughs> ah, save your enchanter. <laughs> GG, boys. Alright, man. Do you have any questions at all about what happened here? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're okay. Alright, cool, dude. Uh, two things. Make sure you're playing with unlocked camera. I don't know if we ever decided if we were or not, but fully unlock your camera if you are if you are playing with it. And also, go into your hotkeys and bind target champion only. It's a very, very, very important key to play as ADC. Okay, because I don't mean like if they're stacked on top of minions, it only targets them. And I guarantee you, if you don't have it binded, a lot of shots are landing on minions when they should be on champions. Uh, and, sa okay. and same thing in that one team fight. Like, 
if you have target champion only, there's no way that you uh, auto attack that vision plant thing. And, and it's uh, a hotkey, right? Yeah, yeah. And you have to hold it down. You have to hold it down. Like I, for instance, I I have it binded to space bar, but I know a lot of people use that for like the snap your camera to your champion thing. So I always hold down space bar whenever I'm fighting anyone. It's just a good habit to build so that I I have not misclicked the minion in the last like five years because of it. It's such a lifesaver of a hotkey. But um. All right, that's going to be it for me, homie. GG's, bro. Hey, I really, really appreciate you. If you could do me a favor, if I, like, message you on something and want to check up to see how I'm doing, would you be down to do that with me and just, like, see how I'm doing? Yeah, for sure, man. If you have any questions or, you know, you want me to check up or whatever, you got any questions, anything, hit me up, homie. Hey, I really appreciate that. You, you didn't have to do any of this to me, and it does mean a lot, so. I hope so. Um, I'm, glad I, I'm glad we kind of ran into each other today, because I don't think either of us had that plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So. Well, uh, good luck climbing. I'm going to check your OPGG.